America's first lady, returning to a Chicago neighborhood where she and her husband still own a home, and where, at the front of a packed congregation, she comforted the distraught mother of a murdered 15-year-old girl. Hydea Pendleton loved dance, volleyball, and reading. She was a high school majorette and had taken part in the president's inauguration a week before being shot dead. You don't know how hard this really is. And those of you that do know how hard this is, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No mother, no father should ever have to experience this. Well, this is where Hydea Pendleton was killed in broad daylight on a Tuesday afternoon. She was with friends. They'd taken shelter here during a rainstorm. And the person who killed Hydea came from over in the corner there, jumping over the fence, opening fire, apparently mistaking the group for rival gang members. Gun murders were at a 10-year high here in January, 42 of them in one city, in a nation still debating whether new gun laws are needed. She's important because all those other people who died are important. She is a representative not just of the people of Chicago, she's a representative of the people across this nation who has lost their lives. Sing it like you mean it. An uplifting farewell rooted in a conviction that in death, one teenager can be a force for change. Steve Kingston, BBC News, Chicago.